Hello everyone, welcome to Trevor, Trevor's Tech Tips, where we keep it short and sweet. Today we're going to look on uh, smart, smart, uh, smart art and uh, charts. So, we're going to go to the Insert tab. We're going to go to Smart Art. And the reason why it's called Smart Art is there's some preset diagrams here that you're going to take. It all depends on what you're trying to illustrate. You pick them, and all you do is make a, is make an alteration. So we could say our uh, branches, branches, element. Let's see, beagle. Oh, sorry. And if you go and uh, creates another one, and uh, uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember if I got these branches right. <laughs> so I'm highlighting this hair. I'm gonna say change this to black. All right, just by doing it here, and then. I could click on there, go format, and change this color to say whatever that color is. There we go. All right. So that was one smart art. Or I could say insert smart art. And so we do in a. Uh, we could call it. Hold on there. Okay, let's do it first. Okay, so we could say uh, start. I was trying to type the tab there. <laughs> um, oops. Just making this up. <laughs> I don't know what these process processes are. So we could just create this flow chart like and then we could even change it into different colours. Oh that's for just to go fill and uh, yeah change the background there. So so it's home we change the background there or we could go format and the, the shape fill these with each individual shape. Right? Uh, yeah, could use that. And we could put all the. I'm holding down on control on my keyboard. Right? And I could say an outline of, say, yellow. I could uh, shift works quite fine as well, but not in all cases. Uh, I could change each of the shape, the arrow shapes, into there we go, purple. And in fact, we could just to show you that the options are there. Shape outline to blue. There we go. Now, uh, let's open this up a little bit and uh, let's see if. Okay, right, there we go. We could open that panel and put in another one. I'm just pressing, pressing enter. We could put another one there. See, that's why it's called smart art. It's smart and it's art. <laughs> right, so we've got smart art there. I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to close this and I'm going to go on another page and we're going to go insert and then I'm going to go to charts, right? 
Now, the thing with charts is you've got to put data in the charts. But in here, you insert the chart first, and it's for like data analytics and so on. It's a little bit di uh, better with each version of Office that comes out. Uh, so you could put in the, let's say, uh, different ca categories. So we could say, uh, uh, let's say, plus one. to three and let's say this is the uh, type of vehicles that go uh, go through the toll booth we could say Sunday Monday Tuesday made a mistake there Wednesday All right and we could say uh, we had five going through this day, and just put some numbers. I'm gonna. You can't have like uh, because that's not whole numbers. <laughs> so let's say these are the the different class of vehicles. These are the different days of the week, and I could close that. And oops, you do. And then this chart here shows you the different categories of vehicles that go through a toll booth at different days of the week and then I could say uh, edit set there we go go backspace or delete would say uh, class of vehicles per, per day all right. Um, all right. All right. There we go. So it's for da data analytics. Uh, then we've got different types of charts here. All depends on what you're doing. So you could click here and say change chart type. I've already done all the hard work put in the data and click there and there we go we change our chart the hardest part is getting the data to be correct to make sense we could even click on here and say for my data series oops that's not what I wanted uh, oh if you go edit data you could go back in and change the data there and you could let's see what format legend it's not what I was looking for there's a there's a thing oh I think this is it is this it no that's not it right so I'm not seeing what I'm looking for there's a way to do a secondary legend is this it chart element uh, I'm not finding it all right and of course you could format the text wrapping so let's say for instance well by default like all shapes it's top and bottom I'm going to make it so tight so I can move it around so I put the stuff there move it up put stuff there all right there we go so that's it for uh, charts. As I said, you could change a chart. Um, change, where is it? I was hoping I would find it. But the legend is there. There is another way, which I'm not seeing, where you could make the, the figures show on each part. But uh, our video is already let's see no it's not our video is already too long and i'm trying to get you guys to learn just the basics okay so there we go hope this was informative please drop a like subscribe turn on notifications and i'll see you in the next one